What's up guys, I'm Dave and today I'm going to be breaking down the specs and features of the Athlon Airy ZTR and the Vortex Razor Gen 2. Breaking down exactly what this means for the shooter and demonstrating how you can get a reliable, feature rich optic that won't break the bank. The Vortex Razor Gen 2 has been an extremely popular scope in the long range community because it offers all of the features you need to be a successful shooter. But the Athlon Airy ZTR offers a lot of the same features for around $1,000 less. Let's take a look. An important aspect of all lenses is the coatings that are applied. Whether it's the Vortex XR Plus fully multi-coating or the Athlon Advanced fully multi-coating, these coatings are applied to all air-to-glass surfaces. These are wide band spectrum coatings that increase the amount of light transmission through the lens, providing the shooter with an extremely bright image. Another key element of the optical system is both scopes offer extra low dispersion glass, which significantly reduces the amount of chromatic aberration, which is the purple fringe you can see around the edges of the target through lower end scopes. The ED lenses will also give an extremely sharp image with true color reproduction. The Athlon XBL coating and the Vortex Armor Tech coating will help protect the lenses for the lifetime of the scope by shielding them from scratches, dirt, oil, or anything else Mother Nature can throw at them. Another key feature to look at when buying a scope is eye relief. A longer eye relief is important to providing the shooter with flexibility in their head position while still providing a full sight picture. This is a feature in which the Airy ZTR offers a little more, allowing for 3.9 inches of eye relief as opposed to 3.7 inches of eye relief in the Razor Gen 2. Now let's look at the dimensions of the scopes. While the Airy ZTR comes in at just under an inch longer than the Razor, it happens to be quite a bit lighter at 36 and a half ounces as opposed to the 48 and a half ounces of the Razor Gen 2. The Razor Gen 2 is going to offer a 6x magnification range of 4.5 to 27 power, while the Ares ETR offers a little bit more on the upper end of the magnification, with a 4.5 to 30x zoom. Both scopes also offer a precision zero stop that will allow the shooter to return to their zero position with a firm stop. The zero stop on the Ares ETR is extremely easy to set by just engaging the plate with no special tools required. Both scopes also offer an illuminated Christmas tree style reticle for any dusk or dawn low light condition, and the high precision erector systems allow for accurate dialing and power changes. Both scopes have a 56mm objective lens and 34mm main body. However, the Ares ETR provides more total elevation travel than the Razor Gen 2, with the MIL version providing 32 mils of elevation from top to bottom, and the MOA version providing 110 minutes from top to bottom. Where the Razor Gen 2 MIL version will only give you 28.5 mils of elevation travel, and the MOA version only giving 71 total minutes from top to bottom. This is extremely important in long range shooting. As you know, the farther you attempt to shoot, the more bullet drop you'll have. This extra elevation travel will allow the Ares ETR to put standard and larger calibers on steel at distances well beyond a thousand yards. With the extra 3.5 mils, giving you about 126 more inches for, of compensation at that distance, and the MOA version providing you with about 408 more inches of compensation at a thousand yards. This could also be a make or break feature for those of you trying to put 22s on target at 400 yards and beyond. The Ares ETR will also have a wider range for parallax adjustment, allowing you to set your scope to be parallax free as close as 25 yards and 500 yards to infinity on the upper end. While the Razor Gen 2 matches the Ares out at long range, it will only come in as close as 32 yards. Combine this with the added elevation and you have a scope that can effectively shoot closer in and at farther distances with all things being equal on the rifle. Both scopes are offered in MIL or MOA, with the Vortex Razor Gen 2 in MIL giving 28.5 mils of total adjustment top to bottom and the MOA version providing 71 minutes from top to bottom. The Ares ETR will provide 32 mils from top to bottom or 110 minutes. Revolution, two revolutions, three revolutions, four revolutions. So with 71 minutes of total elevation travel 
in 25 minutes per rotation, I should not be able to get three full rotations on the vortex. One rotation. Two. Less than three. Another really cool feature of both scopes is the locking windage turrets. This is particularly important, not only for helping you maintain your zero at the range, but can be critical for the hunters that want to bust this scope through the brush. The Razer Gen 2 will also incorporate this feature into the elevation turret. Many shooters in the long range community prefer more audible and tactile turrets. I'm going to dial the turrets on both scopes and let you hear for yourself the difference between the two. The reason the Athlon is so much more audible is because the Ares ETR has a stainless steel component built in that is critical for providing an audible click that can be repeated round after round for the lifetime of the scope without losing any of the sharpness. And now that we've mentioned repeatability, of course we have to ask how consistently and accurately the Ares ETR tracks. And who better to answer that than Tabor Source Rex who recently spent some time behind the Ares ETR. Here we are. I was holding here the whole time. There's my bottom group, and that's me shooting sloppy. I dial up exactly 7.5 mils. Uh, typically, Asian scopes don't track like that. I'd call that dead on nuts. Oh, all right, Athlon. Good job, guys. Once again, Athlon Optics has delivered a scope that is sharp, tight, priced just right to get you shooting like the pros without breaking the bank. And while both scopes offer a lifetime warranty, the Athlon warranty does not require a receipt or registration, making it once again the best bang for your buck in the optics industry. Thanks for watching.